The PTFS update has just released and it is more than I expected. We are getting the Embraer E190, the Space Shuttle Carriers and more. Just quickly before we start, I would like to ask you if you could subscribe. It is free and it supports the channel. If you ever want, you can unsubscribe, but that is up to you. Let's begin. Starting off with the Embraer E190. It is a small regional jet which comes with 15 passenger liveries which include Air Canada, Air France, American, Azul, British Airways, Delta, Flybe, JetBlue, KLM, Lot Polish Airlines, Lufthansa, Qantaslink, Scandinavian, TUI and United. All of these come in a 1-2 seating configuration which surprises me as it is similar in size to the Airbus A220 which has a 2-2 seating configuration. The cockpit looks like this and it is very accurate compared to the real thing. What do you think of this yoke? It's a strange design in my opinion, but it is not only popular on Embraer's but also Tupolev's. The other livery on the Embraer E190 is this livery which is part of a new Private Jet Game Pass. The Private Jet Game Pass used to be a Valier Jet Game Pass but now includes both planes. Something similar to how Air Force One Game Pass became a Presidential Game Pass, so don't worry, you will not have to pay extra if you already have the Learjet Game Pass. The plane has an opening door with retractable air stairs which fold out by clicking it. Hopefully we see more of these door opening animations in the future. Maybe every plane will have them soon. The door reveals this interior which looks like it has space for more than 20 people. This means you can probably fill the whole server. I would love to try this one day, maybe on one of my streams in the future. In the plane there are cake stands, drinks and other pieces of stupendous confectionery for you and your business friends to enjoy. Delivery is based off of a real life aircraft which belongs to a Jordanian private jet charter company. Quite interestingly, they are the first private jet charter operator in the Middle East. If you are interested, the real life registration is Juliet's Yankee Alpha Alpha Golf, so if you ever have some extra pocket money and want to fly the plane from PTFS, then you know where to go. The next part of the update are the shuttle carriers or the space update, whichever you prefer. This brings us the Antonov an 5 with the Buran on top, a 747 with the Discovery Space Shuttle, and a NASA Fins F-18. The Buran Antonov an 5 was highly requested when the Antonov originally came out, and was questioned by many as to why it wasn't added. Luckily, it is here now, with the Space Shuttle on top, which I think is really cool. The 747 with the Space Shuttle on the other hand was a bit of an unexpected addition, but it was kind of expected at the same time since both of these planes were designed and used during the space race which is mainly fought by two countries, the Soviet Union and the United States. It would only have made sense to add America into the update. The NASA F-18 is not fictional and it is not fake either. It was used to transmit live video back to the center of operations so that engineers can visually monitor the mission as it was flown. This makes it the fifth livery on the F-18 if we include the other four which are the Standard Delivery, Blue Angels Delivery, Diamondback Delivery and the Jolly Rogers Delivery. The final thing is the Airport Charts which you can access by clicking here in the bottom right and clicking Airport Charts. By dragging this grey bar you can see other airports and see more charts. You can zoom in and out and rotate them by 90 degrees if you have to. This was a really big update. Tell me what you thought of it in the comments down below. My favourite part was probably the Lot Polish Airlines Embraer E190. And with that, I would like to thank you all very much for watching, see you soon.